Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another scripting tutorial. Now, I know I've been away for a really long time. I'm sorry, but I'm back now. So in this video, we are going to be making a double jump script. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is insert a script into starter character scripts. And then we wanted to find some variables. So first variable we're going to have is one for the maximum amount of jumps you want. So since it's a double jump, we want two jumps maximum. We also need a cooldown, a cooldown in seconds between jumps. Now we need to get the user input service. We need to get the player object. We also need to get the character, the player's character. So you do player.character or player.character added weight. We also need to get the humanoid. We also need a variable to keep track of the amount of jumps in a row that the user has done. And we set it to zero because they haven't made any jumps yet. We also need a boolean value to keep track of if the player can jump. So the player's humanoid has a, an event that can detect when the, its state has changed. So states like running or jumping. We're going to connect a function to it. We also want to detect when the user wants to jump. So user input service dot jump request. We connect another function to it. Now we have to check if the player is allowed to jump. So if can jump and we have to make sure the amount of jumps in a row is less than the maximum amount of jumps that they are allowed. So we make sure that number of jumps in a row is less than maximum jumps. All right, so if player can jump is true and the maximum amount of jumps is more than the amount of jumps that they've done already, then we make them jump. So we do humanoid change state enum dot humanoid state type dot jumping. So this will make them jump. Now when the humanoid state changes, we have to check several things. So first we have to check if the player has landed on the floor. So this is if the player has just fallen back onto the ground. So when they've fallen back on the ground, then we reset their jumps in a row, right? Because they're back on the ground, you can reset the counter. We also check if they're in a state of free fall. So if they're falling through the air, so enum dot humanoid state type dot free fall equals new state. So if they're free falling, then we make them await the cooldown, the jump cooldown which is 0.2 seconds right now, before they can make another jump. Can player jump equals true. The last thing we need to check is if the humanoid state type is jumping. So if the player is currently jumping. So if they're currently jumping, it means the user has just pressed the space bar. So we add one to the amount of jumps in a row because they've just completed one jump. Okay, so let's test it out. All right, I'm gonna make a jump. And as you can see, I can jump twice. And you can change these settings so that they can jump more than twice. So let's say I want, I want 20 jumps in a row. So I can change max jumps to 20 and then test it again. And as you can see, I can jump many more times in a row until it gets to 20. And then, and then we have to wait until we fall back onto the ground before we reset its jump counter. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.